We're at Whistler Campground in Jasper National Park. And you might notice that the roof of the van looks a little bare. We've taken the cargo box off. We've taken a lot of the inside stuff out. We've taken the paddle board out. And that's because we had a uh, turbo blowout yesterday. It was not a pleasant experience. And the van does drive. It just uh, drives without the turbo. And if you step on the engine too hard, you can hear wind rushing through behind the dash. It gets to a certain pressure, it starts kind of whistling. It was a long, hard decision. I slept on it, figure out what we're gonna do. It's tough being in Canada, US citizen. I can't just take it down to the local Ford dealership. There actually isn't one anyways. There's one in Edmonton, it's about 200 miles away. What I'm having to do is driving it without the turbo back down the Icefields Parkway by myself to the border, cross back into the US and go back to Whitefish, which is where we were about 10 days ago. Just to trade this thing in for a new vehicle. I don't know what options we have. Fixing it is not really an option. I'm, I mean, I guess it is, but it was severely delay us. And a replacement turbo assembly is gonna cost me between two to five grand just in parts. So it's just not worth it. At 123, 24,000 miles, this thing still has a lot more to go, but things are starting to break little by little. So I think it's safe for us to just take our losses. I mean, I wouldn't even call them losses. This thing's done really well for us. We've gone 48 states, back, back and across the US four times, I think. But it is sad to see it go. I just uh, safely went through uh, Jasper Icefields Parkway, so now I'm just made the turn to go, to go towards uh, Kootenai National Park. Here we are. Here's the U.S. border. This is the border we came across about a little over a week ago. Yeah. Hello, how are you? Okay. Shut off. Where sure. are you coming from? Uh, outside the Edmonton area. What's going on up there? We're actually on our way to Alaska. Who's we? Me and my family, but they're not with me. Okay. Um, this car ran into some problems, so I'm driving it back down to either try to get it fixed what or... What happened? I think the turbo blew. Okay. So, so what do you do for work? I'm a web developer. Where's the family at? They're at a campground um, in Jasper. We came up there with a travel trailer, so I left them there. Okay. This thing is such bad shape that it can't tow anymore. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm trying to go down the whitefish to look into possibly trading it in. Well, good luck. Thanks. Take care. All right, you too. I'm sleeping in the back of the van one last time. I'm at the Moose Lodge in Whitefish. It's about 2 a.m. local time. Tomorrow morning, in about seven hours, I will be taking this into the dealership, hoping to get a decent amount on the trade, and a new truck, hopefully. All right, it's eight o'clock on Sunday. I'm ready to go start the process. Well, the guy's not gonna be there yet, but I spent last night at the Moose Lodge in Whitefish, right there is where we stayed for about a week. A little over a week ago. No, two weeks ago. I'm ready. Go over there and check it out. Here's the dealership. Here's the truck I'm test driving. Well now I'm curious, you're heading up to Alaska. 
What's up there? Alaska. Okay. <laughs> This is there you what go. Is this? this is a it's surface. Oh, that's it. That was the one. Yeah, now I have a print. You're welcome. Thank Here she is. That's the new truck. Just drove it off the lot. Packed everything we own that was left in the van in there. Even got some mud flaps front and back. Here's the stuff that didn't fit. So, my fish for VW. Sad to see the van go, but had to be done. Hello. How are we doing today? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. Where's home for you? Uh, California. Like a Montana tag. Well, let me tell you the story. <laughs> I came up, I came through here about a little over a week ago, uh, like not this past Friday, but the Friday before, with my family in a travel trailer in a different car. We were in there for about a week. That car blew the turbo. Huh, okay. And it was gonna cost like five, six thousand dollars to fix, but it was good enough to drive back. So I drove back last night, did about 450 miles yesterday. Crossed back in the whitefish, traded that in for this just this morning. Okay. And that's why there's all this stuff in here that came now from the other car. The now they're, they've been there waiting for me. Okay. Is any of this stuff going to be staying in Canada? No, none no. of it. All right. Do you have anything for personal protection in any of this? No, not no here. Bear spray or anything like that? I mean, we did bring them in, but it's in the trailer. Okay. Did anybody ask you to bring anything up for them? No, nobody. So how long will you be in this time? Uh, we're actually on our way to Alaska. Which is why we needed a reliable vehicle. All right, that's it. All right, thank you. I'm here. Hi. I'm in my pajamas. You've been here all day? Yeah, of course. Hi. You got it so dirty already. I did. <laughs> I miss you. Daddy. Oh. Oh, daddy. I miss you. Oh, oh I'm both Oh, it's dark. It's very, very wet. Wanna go see the new car? Very, very yeah, wet. Yeah, let me go get my shoes. Okay. I ready feet, I ready feet. Oh, boy. Stuff in the back too. Let's drive. Is that 250 or 150? 250. 